Hello everybody. So today we're going to be doing an interesting little challenge. Heather decided to get us this The Adventure Challenge Couples Edition. It looks like this. It's like a almost like a scrapbook, but it's pre-determined like challenges and there's a spot for a picture from you doing each one. And I don't know if you're supposed to do it like in a year. I don't think it has like a time frame, but here's the book. The Adventure Challenge Couples Edition. <laughs> it even has the definition of adventure and the correct way to say it like speak it correctly the art of exploring and then so i have my wife heather with me she is off camera hello everybody do you happen to remember what page or was it like the first one? Oh, uh, i don't remember i guess it'll be the first after the peak bill okay so yeah there's like an introduction page and it tells you the rules it says rule number one, disconnect to reconnect. Two, no take backs. Three, document the journey. And four, show it off. And it gives you, there's three different symbols above each one. And these are scratch offs. So the first one, it tells you the approximate cost, the best time of the day or night to do the adventure, and then approximately how long it'll take you to do that adventure. So this was like the intro page and we scratched it off and it said zero to $15 before 9 p.m. and three to four hours, but we scratched it off and then it just said peekaboo. If you just purchase the book, it's $40, but if you get it with one of those cameras, what are those cameras called? Oh, it's the instant cameras. Yeah, it comes Polaroids. With yeah, it'll come with one of those, but it will cost you like 150. And right now those cameras with the book are on high demand, so they're like backlogged. Mm -hmm. But we didn't want to spend the money on that camera, so we just got the book and then we'll print out our pictures from our phone at like Walgreens or whatnot. Right. So then it has a helpful hints page, so it tells you with all these little like emojis or whatever mean throughout the pages and then there's a table of contents so anyway i think it was the first page after this yes okay so when you turn the page the very first one this is what we're doing it says the beginning up here and it says it'll cost five to fifteen dollars you can do it any time and it'll take two to three hours. And then, so it has like a cookie, like a shopping cart, a house, like indoor and outdoor, like a house with people in it and then a house that's like black, which the cookie does mean that you're gonna be prepared to enjoy a snack. The shopping cart you're gonna need some supplies. Yeah, and then the house with people in it is indoors. And then the house that's just black is like home. So it says to check for that icon if you wanna look for something that you can complete at home, which obviously right now is what we're sticking to. So anyway, we scratch this off and here's what it says. Make a homemade pie together easier said than done. One of you must mix all the ingredients by yourself blindfolded while the other person gives instructions by leading with their hands. The leader can only use three directive sentences the whole time. The person with the least amount of cooking experience has to be the blindfolded mixer. So basically, I have less cooking experience but of me and my wife i'm the baker you have more patience to bake i don't yeah i love baking so i mean we're making a pie so this is considered baking 
but also Heather and I do YouTube videos. She doesn't like to be on camera, so she's not gonna be doing things with her hands. She's not gonna be in the video with me, but you'll hear her because she's off camera. We're tweaking it just a little bit. Yeah, we do Jackie and Heather rolls. Yes. So then right next to the scratch off, there's like a spot right here. So you would peel this off and you would put your photo right there of you doing this. So I think that's about it for that, yeah. right? So that's the book. This oh, is today's yeah. challenge. I'm probably definitely gonna use more than three sentences. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know if we can do that. Yeah. So Heather was very kind to me. She <laughs> took the Oreo pudding mix out and put it in a bowl for me. Well, they, are these, are, is this two of them? Yes. Yeah, this is two of them, two of these. Then we have a whole thing of Cool Whip. She pre-measured a cup or two cups? Two and a half cups. Two and a half cups of milk, which is in my lovely little frozen cup. And we were not about to make pie crust, so <laughs> this is Oreo pie crust. We're making Oreo pie today. Yeah, you wanna show this picture, honey? I will, and then I'll be using this big bowl. Show her um, your mixing thing, okay. the spatula. Yeah, this is the Oreo pie crust, and she's gonna be telling me the instructions which are on the back. This is my shirt of the day. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. We are always up to no good. With um, Harry Potter pajama pants. So I'm gonna be whisking with this. And what do you call these things? A spatula. Okay, so we have this like rubber spatula, which if you know me, I absolutely hate red, but we bought this because it was the only one that said this. It says, I love you a latte. And Heather really loves coffee. And it's got like measurements on the back. It's really great. It's kind of heavy too, like it's a good one. All right, so I have to do this blindfolded. Yes. Unfortunately, I don't have a blue bandana because I am Ravenclaw, but I have a yellow which Heather is a Hufflepuff. So I am going to, I actually used to wear these a lot as like a headband. You know, oh yeah. Cause I used to be cool. Oh really? You used to be? I said that used to be. Oh, that used to be. I I've never been stuff. cool. <laughs> no. no. Don't worry, I was not cool either. I was never a cool cat. All right, I'm gonna try to blindfold. I better stay close to here. Am I in a good position? I think so. You look good. Thanks, baby. Yeah. This is already like so weird. My wife is beautiful. Oh, honey. All right. Are you blinded? Yeah. Okay. So first is first, you're gonna make the pie crust. So travel your right hand a little to the right. Oh, is that the pie crust? Yeah. Oh, is it done? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have the pie crust done and finished. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to, pee, to beat the pudding mix, mixes and milk in a large bowl and whisk two minutes. And then you're going to stir in half the whipped topping. Okay. So I have the pudding mixes to your left in a bowl. In the green bowl? Yes. I mean, I can't see it, yeah, but it's perfect. So go ahead and spill that into the into bowl. Into this one? Yes. I gave you a big bowl so you didn't spill. Oh, God. And then to your right, just put it into the sink. This is like scary. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, excellent. <laughs> now you're going to take the, um, the milk. Now it's kind of full, so just be careful. So yeah, I should have gotten... Okay, hold on. My hands already like have stuff on them. Yeah. So the milk is right behind the pie crust. So fill your way around the pie crust. 
and it's kind of heavy. Okay. You're going to try pouring it over the sink? Am I over the sink? Yeah. Very nice. And now you're going to take the whisk. And it says two minutes, but we're going to whisk until like we get a consistency that we like. Well, I'm not going to be able to know. I know. Just bring it over here. <laughs> now, this is usually where, like, the reason, I mean, I think one of the reasons that I'm a pretty good baker is because I know how to eyeball when, like, it's mixed to the right consistency and everything. So this is weird because I can't see it. It feels very chunky. It has Oreo bits in it. Yeah, I know. So yeah, we decided on Oreo pie because it's pretty easy to make. Does it feel weird being blindfolded? Oh yeah. I love that you have the towel over your shoulder. Oh really? Oh yeah, it's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> Does it look bad? No, I think it looks adorable. Like the, um... I mean, it's mixing, but like it is chunky. Okay. But I know that that's the Oreo. Yeah. Okay. Just tilt it to me. I don't want you walking back and forth. Oh yeah, that's perfect. You think? Yes. So go ahead and put the um yeah, the whisk on the in the No 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 no, you need that. Oh okay. leave it there. Now you're gonna take the whipped cream to the left, to the left. So the keep middle. the whisk. Yes, keep the whisk in there. Oh, the whole thing? No, half of it. Oh god. So I'll tell you, get your spatula. No, get the spatula. Yep. And I'll tell you when you put in half. It's like hard to feel yeah. where it's at. Go, go deep. Yeah, there you go. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> Scrape it off with your mixer. And then you can throw that into the sink. Well, what about getting the rest of it out? It's after the four hours, so I'll just I'll wash everything for you. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Just toss it into the sink. Good job. And now you're gonna whisk that all together. Did it melt good enough for you? Yeah. Okay, good. It smells really good. Yay. So I know it would have been fun to watch her like use scissors blindfolded to open stuff up, but like- And pour milk. Yeah, we're not about to, I did it, we don't like to waste food, there's a lot of starving people, a lot of starving kids, so like, watching her pour the milk in and end up wasting the milk just didn't seem right to us, and we're not about to injure each other, even though it probably would have been funny to watch her use the scissors blindfolded, so um, we, we like to do things in a fair way, Yeah. in a nice way. Right. Jackie doesn't like to get messy. She can't have anything like on her face. So we try to, you know, do things as nicely for each other that we can. Okay, how does this look? That looks perfect. 
So now, oh, you know what? You probably should have used. It's okay. Go ahead and use the whisk to put um, that mixture into the pie. The whole mixture. Okay. Well, this is nerve wracking. Yeah, I should have. Um, oh, to keep the spatula. Yeah, my bad. You can use the thingy though. When we're done, I'll wash the spatula and you can get every part out. Do you want to move the pie to the stove so I can see you? Oh, you can't see it? No, pick up the pie. Go to the left. But what if it spills? You should be okay. Place it down. Oh yeah, that was actually perfect. Yep, right there. Yeah. Yep, and then you're gonna pour. Is that good? Yes, that should be very good. to the left a little bit. Okay, good. Very nice. Come a little closer to you. Yeah, right there. Perfect. And now just try to even it out. We'll get all the last little bits after. I'll wash the spatula for you. So you're going to use that spatula and just kind of spread it around a little bit. Is it kind of good? It is. It is. If you had the spatula, it would have been better. That was my fault. It's okay. Um, move it around a little bit to like 12 o'clock. Up? Yeah. Up and to the right. Yep, perfect. Okay, don't, not too, yeah, you're getting on the edges. Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Just put that into the bowl. Yeah. And then you can take off your blindfold and show the camera your work so far. Okay. And we're going to tidy it up before we put it in the refrigerator. It has to go in the refrigerator for four hours before we can put the rest of the top on. Oh man, I was going to say, I can still feel like a mess. Oh really? Yeah, I was getting like whipped cream on my fingers. Oh no. Oh, it does look pretty good. Yeah. So here's what I did. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh the whole oh, thing shifted. Oh boy. Here's how it looks for now. I can't move it too much. So I just put it in the fridge? Well, no, we're gonna wash the spatula and smooth it out and get all like the other stuff that's in the pan out so we don't waste okay. anything. And then the whipped cream is like all over the yeah, counter. Yeah, I'll clean it all up. No worries. I'm clean up, girl. So that's it really for now. Check back in in four okay. hours. No, I'll, I'll do a, um, hold please. Okay, here we come for part two of making this Oreo pie. I have the rest of the, what's this called? Cool Whip. I have a bunch of Oreos. I have my wifey instructions. I am here. Off camera. For assistant. Yes, my beautiful assistant. Oh, honey, I love you. I love you. Heather decided that I should try to go get the pie out of the fridge with a blindfold on. Okay, turn a little bit more. Okay, stop. Maybe four steps forward. To the left. Yes. And then I believe it's on the top shelf. I would use two hands. Yeah, I was just feeling for the shelf. Yeah. Firm grip. I think I feel it. Well, it feels pretty solid. Okay, good. There you go. 
maybe four steps forward. This way? Yeah. A little bit more. Yep, there you go. Okay, remove, yeah, place it on the counter. Okay, remove the, very nice. Now you're going to take the cool whip to your left. Yes. And you're going to take your spatula to the right. I cleaned it and everything and dried it. And now you're going to spread it onto the pie. Am I over it? Yes. Go a little bit back towards the camera, towards the camera. Yeah, right there. <laughs> that sounded so oh, weird. Side effects. <laughs> Very nice. Just toss the container into the sink. Thank you. And now you're going to smooth that out. So, right. There, yes. Push it down, yes. Very good. This is so weird. Keep smoothing it. So towards your stomach, there's like a big floof that you might need to like push towards the camera. Yeah, there you go. Just kind of even it out. Okay, that looks pretty good. You can put the spatula in the sink. Well, no, because I might have to fix it. Oh, okay. Then put the spatula somewhere else. Okay, take your cookies and break one apart break it apart? Yep, break it apart. Like, snap it in half. No, no, no. There this you go. way? Yep. Really? Yep. Okay, you're going to place it downwards and put it in on the side. So your right hand, keep coming down, down, place it in. Push it in. Good job. Your left hand, come down a little to the right. I can't see because your right hand is in. Go more towards the right. No, like up towards the camera. Just a tad. Okay, good. Play it right there. Place it right there. Good job. Take another cookie and repeat. <laughs> I thought we were going to lay them flat. No, nope, just the one in the middle. Okay, so oh. now go towards the camera. Go towards the camera a little bit more. And make sure that it's um, pointing to you to the camera. Perfect. Put it down. Place it in. Okay, take the other one to the left. You're going to diagonal it to me just a little bit. Move your right hand. Yeah. A little bit to the camera. Yeah, right there. Put it in. And I'll take a whole one. And we're going to put it in the middle facing down. <clears throat> Flat. Yeah, just about right there. That'll do. Push it down just a little bit. Perfecto. Hold it up to the camera. And there's your, your pie made blindfolded. <clears throat> Golf clap. Can they see it? Yes. There you go. For some reason, I thought we were doing a lot more Oreos. So it's done? It is been. You serve it like this? Once you cut it, yep. Oh, okay. You want to try it? Yeah, not right now. I want to get a picture of you with it, with your blindfold. Oh. <clears throat> Did you turn the camera off? Not yet. Okay. Oh, it's not bad. The topping is a little funky, but that's okay. For some reason, I thought we were going to put Oreos, like, Well, we can all once. All around it. We can. When I, you know... I figured you'd want to fix it, smooth it out some. 
So that's why I didn't have you. I don't know if we have more whipped cream in the container that didn't go in. So I was trying just to put Not a, really. a couple. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. No, you did a really good job. That's a lot of Cool Whip. Yeah. I wouldn't fix it too much because we don't want it to be exactly perfect when I take a picture. Oh, <laughs> right. Should we just take a picture like this then? Yeah. With you blindfolded. Okay. So that's our blindfolded Oreo pie making. I'll probably fix this a little bit and I'll show you in a minute.